Hey guys, s 82 back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at everyone's favorite symbiote, Venom. So stick around. All right guys, glad you're back. Today I wanted to do a video just basically going through Venom comic books, taking a look at some cool covers, and talking about the different artists who have done Venom. And just enjoying the books, man. Venom's a character that I've loved since childhood. And uh, so I'm definitely going to enjoy going through this and talking about these with you guys. Um, they're completely random. The piles are completely random. I don't have these books sorted in any sort of way. I just thought I would pull Venom books out at random and just talk about them for a little bit. Uh, I've already done a video about Maximum Carnage, but I did want to go through a couple of the books that had Venom on the cover with you guys. So I'll show you some of the ones in the Maximum Carn Carnage run that had Venom on the cover. Just because there were some really cool Venom covers in this Maximum Carnage run. But I've already done a video about these, so I'll just run through them fairly quickly. That's a great one right there. And let's see, I think that's the last one that I have with the with Venom on the cover. And that's the Maximum Carnage books that have Venom on the cover. Now we're getting into the other books. This is the free comic book day from this past year. You can see this is the um, Dylan Brock as opposed to Eddie Brock Venom. Still really cool. This is an homage cover to Amazing Spider-Man, early Venom and Carnage. Who does this? I don't know, it doesn't say, but it, it just says classic homage cover. That's a cool one, though. This is actually one of my very favorite Venom covers. It's embossed. He sticks out. You can't really, it doesn't really translate on camera too well, but it is an embossed cover. And that's definitely one of my favorite drawings of Venom. This book was a mail-off book, too. You had to send off something to get that one. That's really cool to have. This was the free comic book day from not this past year, but the year before. Really cool Venom cover right there. This is a Spider-Man 2099 variation of Venom, but it's just such a cool homage that I wanted to share that with you guys. Venom 2099. And that is not Eddie Brock. That is a different character altogether in the future. And here is from the miniseries Funeral Pirate. Py I don't know how to say P-Y-R-E. But that's a book from that series. That's issue three. Here's a Venom Carnage Symbiote Slugfest. Just having it out. That's a really cool cover there. This is actually a Spanish version of Venom, Enemy Within. Cool to have a Spanish version of that. This is Venom, The Madness, issue one. This is also an embossed cover. You can see Juggernaut is in that shot. Staring Juggernaut down. Juggernaut seems to be charging his way. But it is an embossed cover. Pretty cool. Here's Venom the Madness issue two. Another cool cover featuring Venom and Juggernaut. Here's Venom the Madness issue three. And that is another one with Juggernaut. Here's a big one right here. Any Venom collector, this is definitely one that they go after. I'm lucky enough I have two different copies of this. One's slightly cleaner than the other, 
but Venom Lethal Protector issue one. And that is that cool foily cover there. You can see the webbing in the background shines in the light. Um, I bought one of these from a friend in a comic group and then I received one as a gift from another friend. Definitely really cool. Here's Lethal Protector issue two. You gotta have that to go along with issue one. Um, pretty sure I have issue three somewhere. Here's it. Here's Venom Lethal Protector issue four and this is a key. This is known for being the first appearance of Scream. So you get your first Scream symbiote in that book. This is Venom Lethal Protector issue five. And this one you get the first full appearance of the rest of the uh, Life Foundation symbiotes, Lasher, Agony, um, so on and so forth. You get the rest of them in this one for the first time. Here is Lethal Protector issue six, and this is just a cool Venom cover. Always one that stuck out with me. Here's one that came out, uh, it's an homage cover. They came out about a year or so ago. This is for the, the newest run of Venom. And it was issue four. Got that classic homage cover. Here's a really cool one. This kind of reminds me of like Rat Fink from back in the day, but it's uh, Venom. That one's really cool. This actually, I was on the hunt in Walmart packs for this one for a long time. I finally ended up getting it. This is the Walmart variant of this. This, this book was hot for a little while. People trying to track it down in the Walmart packs. And you can tell the difference between this one and the regular version because the one from the Walmart packs has Venom in purple. So just a really cool cover, glad to have it. This is a Liefeld Venom and Deadpool cover. It was a King and Black tie-in. Really cool. Here is the first meeting of aliens and the Clintar symbiotes with Venom and the alien on this cover here. I forget what they're called, forgive me there. I'm not real big on aliens, so I don't know exactly what that race or breed of aliens is called. Here is um, Venom, oh, who did this cover? Crap, he did an awesome Noctura cover too. Uh, I'm drawing a blank on this one. You guys let me know in the comments. Remind me in the comments who did this cover. This is, it is a really cool one. God, I can't remember who did that one. Jock, Jock, it's a Jock cover. Here is John Boy Meyer cover. He always kills it when he does Venom or pretty much anybody else for that matter. John Boy Myers on that one. This is Scarecrow Oven, Art of the artist by the name of Scarecrow Oven. I'm not sure if that's a he, she, group of people, what, but Scarecrow Oven does really cool work. This is what if Venom had possessed the Punisher. And you have Venom there with uh, the Punisher's guns and all, artillery. Got Daredevil and Spider-Man there in the background. Here, this is actually a Ghost Rider and Blaze comic, Spirits of Vengeance. But this is just a really cool Venom cover here. See Venom's on the ceiling there. The Spirits of Vengeance. Vengeance is crossed out with the Venom. And now, let's see, we have a Dark Hawk cover here. This is Dark Hawk 13. And it says he's back, Venom. And that's one of, one of my favorite Venom covers. Probably top five. I just love the way he's drawn there. He's in the web with the green slime dripping. This is actually one of my favorite 
this would be top five favorite Venom covers for sure, too. That Eric Larson, Amazing Spider-Man 347. It says, alas, poor Spider-Man, I killed him well. I wish I had a cleaner copy of this because it's got some spine ticks, but I love that cover. You guys know what this book is. Pretty big key when it comes to Venom right here. And I think that's the first of Hydra Man as well. Or no, this is a Cletus Cassidy key, my bad. Getting my books mixed up, but you got early Venom on the cover there. Got a new stand and your direct of that one. Here's a pretty big key um, when it comes to Venom. And that's Amazing Spider-Man 299. It's the issue right before you get arguably Venom's first full appearance, even though, I don't know, man. I sometimes wonder if this isn't the first full. But you got your cameo of Venom in that book right there. Here we have Amazing Spider-Man 362. Pretty cool key right there. And what's even better than that is I have the second print to that. Which I was happy to find in one of my Adventures in the Bargain Bins videos. If you've never checked those out, I usually find some pretty cool stuff in those videos out on the hunt. So please go and check those out. Be sure you subscribe as well. I'm nearing 300. Be giving away some cool stuff when I do. This is that classic 363. I'm having to remind myself because my brain's shot and I'm old. <laughs> so I don't retain the information like I used to. That was a new stand of that. I have a direct of that as well. And this one has Venom in the corner up here. It says Venom lives and he's saying, miss me. You got Spider-Man and Boomerang on the cover there. There's that another early Venom appearance. Here's another top five Venom cover for me, for sure. This is another Eric Larson. I, I love the way that Eric Larson did Venom. This is 346 of Amazing Spider-Man. Here is Amazing Spider-Man 374. And I have the new stand. Excuse me. And a direct for it as well. And that's probably a top 10 favorite Venom cover for me. That, that's a really good one. And this is Venom versus Spider-Man True Believers number one. And it's another one of those, uh, it's the cover homage to McFarlane's first full appearance of Venom, the AM, AMS, ASM 300, I'm sorry. ASM 300, that's what it is. Like I said, guys, my brain's... <laughs> I'm getting old, but uh, Spider-Man, we got Spider-Man 52 right here, and you actually have Venom with uh, Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider. It's got him in a, a choke hold. And here is the Bendis run of Ultimate Spider-Man. We have issue 33 right here. Uh, one of these is the first appearance of Ultimate Venom. I can't remember which issue, but we got 33 there. I would say it's probably 33. There's 36. And then 38 titled Father, Father's Pride. And those are some cool covers from that run. Here's Spirits of Venom, part one, Web of Spider-Man 95. Another cool cover. Venom, Ghost Rider, and Spider-Man. Here is another cool Scarlet Spider, uh, Ben Riley versus Venom. This is Web of Spider-Man 119. That's another one I found just in dollar bins. It just goes to show you never know what you find, um, what, what you could find in dollar bins. Um, I found a lot of garbage, but I also find gold every now and then. So I always thoroughly go through the bins, guys. Here's another Venom appearance. This is in volume three of Spider-Woman. This has Maddie Franklin taking on a Venom possessed Rhino. So Maddie Franklin, Spider Woman. 
the third variation of Spider-Woman versus a crazy variation of the classic Spider villain. Here's Spider-Man Saga issue four. And you've got Spider-Man Mary Jane. She's in that wedding dress. Then you have Venom showing up to ruin things as usual. And this, I pulled this one out. I didn't break out a lot of the King and Black books, um, but I did want to show this one just to kind of show the evolution of Venom and where he is today. And um, that is Eddie Brock in one of his final forms in King and Black. That's, uh, he actually ended up getting wings. And um, the current Venom is Dylan Brock, his son. But I just wanted to show a little bit of the evolution of Venom in the comic books with that one right there. Um, it's always really cool to go through my comic books. It's something that I love to do. I appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, checking out some of my Venom books with me. Um, I've got a few that I don't know are missing somewhere. So they're not all here, but that was most of my Venom stuff. Um, thanks for tuning in. And... Um, Please like, please subscribe. I'm really close to 300 and I will be doing a cool giveaway that I'll announce soon. But um, thanks for tuning in guys. Until next time, peace.